Hello viewers, welcome to my case chemistry classes. In this presentation, we will discuss the quick revision of unit number one, structure and bonding, VSCPR theory and MO theory. The first one is the ionic potential. Ionic potential is equal to charge of the cation divided by size of the cation. Formal charge of the ion is equal to the number of valence electron minus number of unshared electron half into number of bonding electron number of valence electron minus number of shared pad electron minus 1 by 2 number of bonding electron percentage of any character is equal to from electron activity values this electron activity difference between A and B plus 3.5 xA minus xB square or one more formula 1 minus exponential minus of xA minus xB power 1 by 4 into printer. XA, XB are electron activities. Then dipole moment. Dipole moment is equal to Q into D. Q is the electrical charge. And D is the bond length. From that you can calculate the electronic charge is equal to dipole moment divided by bond length. Percent ionic character also calculated from dipole moment is equal to actual dipole moment divided by dipole moment of pure ionic compound it is related to the pure DAP, dpm into then dipole moment of the molecule is equal to mu1 square plus mu2 square plus 2 into mu1 mu2 cos theta here the mu1 is equal to bond moments bond moments of various bonds Then theta is equal to bond angle between the bonds. Then bond order. Bond order is equal to number of bonding electron minus number of antibonding electron by 2. NB is the number of bonding electrons. NA number of antibonding electrons. Application of DPM. 
Dicom moment is used to predict the geometry of the molecule. Dipole moment is used in helps in determining polarity. Home atomic molecules like chlorine nitrogen and molecules having regular geometry that means trigonal tetrahedral or tetrahedral structure regular geometry having dipole moment is zero molecules having distorted strain distorted safe that means due to the presence of unbed electron the tetrahedral will become pyramidal CSA show the magnetic moment value that is the dipole moment So in regular geometry, there is no dipole moment. Distorted molecules having dipole moment. In geometric isomers, cis isomer and trans isomer. For trans isomer, dipole moment is zero. And cis isomer have high dipole moment dpm value adhikam arkoot and in case of ortho para meta isomer ortho is greater than para isomer so it is in the case of aromatic system ortho isomer is 2.54 and diopter almost zero and the meta is the meso 1.4820 then molecular orbital con then molecular orbital configuration for nitrogen the bond order and it is diamagnetic n2 plus bond order is equal to 2.5 and it is para magnetic n2 minus 2.5 bond order it is para magnetic n2 2 minus bond order to para magnetic O2 bond order to and it is para magnetic O2 plus bond order 2.5 and it is para magnetic Then O2 minus number of electrons 17 bond order 1.5 and it is para magnetic. O2 2 minus total electron 18 so bond order 1 and it is diamagnetic. Next one. VSCPR theory VSCPR theory the hybridization and the molecular safe and exomers are important 
so first one is a normal type of molecules hybridization geometry and simple examples so sp hybridization sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization with the bond uh, lone pair electrons sp hybridization geometry is linear sp2 trigonal sp2 with the one lone pair total three bonds and only is the lone pair it is a v shape example here beryllium chloride trigonal BF3 foreign trifluoride and V shape BBCL2 tin chloride then SP3 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 with the one lone pair SP3 with the two lone pair SP3 the regular shape is tetrahedral sp3 one with one lone pair ammonia like water pyramidal with two lone pairs we have pent shape so familiar example methane pyramidal shape example ammonia and two lone pair electron water so it's a pent shape Next hybridization sp 3 d D normal sp 3 d with one LP sp 3 d with the two LP sp 3 d with the three LP sp 3 d the normal success trigonal bipyramidal sp3d with one lone pair that is CISA with the two lone pair T shape with the three lone pair it is linear trigonal bipyramidal the example is PCL5. CISA model that is sulfur tetrafluoride. T shape that is chlorine trifluoride. SP3D it is xenon fluoride. And uh, the triiodide molecules. Next is the sp3 d2 regular sp3 d2 with one lone pair sp3 d2 with two lone pair one lone pair the molecule is octahedral sp3 d2 with one lone pair it is square pyramidal Two lone pair, it is square pentagon. Example, it is SF6 octahedral regular shape. Square pyramidal, the interhalogen compound IF5, and the square planar, that is xenon delta fluoride. Last one, SP3D3. The regular structure is pentagonal bipyramidal. The example is IF7. Okay, in this presentation, we have discussed chemical bonding and molecular structure, and then dipole moment application and uh, various values. The molecular orbital configuration, bond order calculation, diamagnetic for a simple molecule. 
VSCPR theory and the related structures. Okay, we have stopped up to this level. Thank you for watching.